of you. Don't move. Say mango cheesecake. I hope I win the photography contest. Last year, Hamlet won. I came in second, remember? Wish me luck, Red. See you later. Gotcha, Houdini. Gotcha, Slugnut. Oh, how do you do these? Oh, hi, Gofred. You wouldn't know how to do a tie, would you? No. But I do know that it doesn't go on the <laughs> forehead. <laughs> Are you going to do a self-portrait for the photography contest? No. My Auntie Mabel, she's coming for a visit, and I kind of told her that I was the mayor and in charge of the whole town. What? The mayor? How come? Well, she's really fussy, and I wanted to make her happy. And then she said she was coming to visit right away, today. Oh, boy, is she going to be disappointed. Well, why can't you be mayor? We don't have a mayor. I'm sure no one would mind. But I still have to look better in nice clothes and stuff if I'm going to be mayor. We'll go to Ellie's. She'd love to give you a hair treatment. And then we'll take you to Mr. Bowler's shop. He'll have all the right clothes for a mayor. Jeepers, that would be great, go Fred. But... Then I told her I'd take her for a boat ride. But whenever I go boating, I always tip the boat somehow. Zowie! Fudge and I can be your boat rowers! We can take some nature photographs. Oh, but we better hurry. We've got lots to do. Keep still, Wendell. There. It's so debonair when your ears come to a point. It makes you look decisive, just like a male. I think, um... I think I kind of maybe feel more decisive already. Just wait until the other ear is trimmed. Smile, everyone. And now for the hairspray and the mousse. Perfect. <laughs> That's good, too. Um, maybe we should go to my place and teach you the manners that impress fussy ants. My Granny Smith taught me. I save most of them for special occasions. So remember, it's all very easy. My Granny Smith says manners are all about being really, really nice to people around you. Wendell, what are you doing? Spot washing. I think it's ketchup from yesterday. Oh, uh, we don't spot wash in front of picky ants. Except maybe when they're not looking. Now, when we eat... Uh, no, Wendell. With a spoon. Better, but not so much slurping. And remember to talk to your food. Thank you for being so delicious, Soup. You too, vegetables. Little carrot, little broccoli. You are yum, yum, yummy. Um, thank you, Soup. You are so delicious. Um, and, uh... And always remember to say your pleases and thank yous. And I am so happy to eat you up. And yes, please, I will. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Pardon, pardon me. I hate to interrupt such a polite conversation, but isn't your aunt gonna be here soon, Wendell? Zowie, we better hurry to Mr. Bowler's shop and get you some fancy clothes. And I'll ask Quickie Lorraine to set up a fancy table for the mayor. This hat looks good. It's divine. Very sharp. And you have to have a vest. In movies, mayors always have vests with a pocket watch and a fancy walking stick. But I can't tell time. What if she asks me what time it is? Just say, it's time for a walk, or for lunch, or whatever is next. You look fabulous, Wendell. Just one last thing. Remember this from my spy kit? And what are you going to do with that? Wendell will wear the earplug. Then we can talk to him and tell him what to do and what to say. I like that idea. My Granny Smith says that what you say and how you act says a lot about a person. We can just help him get started. Great! It's time to go meet Auntie Mabel at the hotel. Welcome to the fifth annual Zanimo Photography Contest. The photos must be taken today and submitted this evening. And the judge's decision is final. Are you the judge again this year? Yes, indeed. Pigs have the best eyesight, which is why I have won this photography contest the last three years in a row. As you can see by my winning photographs. That's not fair, Hamlet. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Just want to let you know that Wendell is the new mayor of Zanimotown. Okay? 
Well, if you're the mayor, I demand that you make the streets and sidewalks wider for my wife. Yeah, and more flowers. Oh, we better get you going. On the way, we'll ask Quickie Lorraine to fix us up a special table at her restaurant for you and your aunt. Just do what I say. I'm good at saying hello to people. The mayor will see you now. Wendell? Auntie Mabel, as mayor, I would like to welcome you to Zanimo Town. You look so nice. And I love your, um, safari outfit. And I love your, um, safari outfit. You smell funny today. Is that your new pickle shampoo? You smell funny today. Is that your new pickle shampoo? Maybe this isn't <laughs> such a great idea. My goodness, Wendell, you do look dignified. Why, thank you, Auntie. Now, let me show you the town. Go, Fred. I'll see you later for our boat ride. Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. Fudge and I will be honored to row you and your Auntie Mabel. Zowie, he's learning fast. Now, let's get some photos for the contest. I want to get some of motorbikes and cars. I'm going for a fashion theme. <laughs> thank you, Bertie. And thank you, Over Underwater Camera. I have a special table as mayor at one of our finest eateries. Oh, no, Auntie Mabel, that's not the salad fork. Uh, no, Auntie Mabel, that's the dessert fork. That's the escargot fork. The pickle fork. That's the salad fork. Hmm, I didn't know that. Thank you for being so juicy, tomato. And thank you, lettuce, for being so crispy and crunchy. The food likes it when you thank it. Thank you, little carrot. <laughs> Pretend to see something interesting in the distance, like you're in a catalog. And now, Auntie Mabel, time for our boat ride with my expert rowers. Oh, that sounds enjoyable. Have fun, you guys. I hope you get some great nature pictures. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Hippo. What a peaceful boat ride. Yes, Wendell, very nice, dear. Although I thought it would be a little more adventurous. <laughs> She's not the only one that's bored. I thought we were gonna get some exciting shots. You're right. Let's make this a fun day for all of us. Hey, you guys. I, I mean, uh, Mr. Mayor and Mrs. Auntie Mabel. Fudge and I have to take some exciting nature pictures for the photo contest. Oh, that sounds interesting. We'll try to get a picture of a ferocious bear fishing for his dinner. Maybe you can get Wendell and I in that shot <laughs> so I can show it to my bridge club. The bear usually fishes over there. What about our nice, calm boat ride? Moby is usually here every day at this time. Look! There's paw prints going into the water! There! We'll be lifted up! trip to be nice and peaceful. Hi, Moby. It's just us. Sorry we surprised you fishing, but could you do me a big, scary favor? until I tell the girls at the bridge club about this adventure. I'm sorry I disappointed you. Wendell, my dear nephew, at first I was a little worried you had gotten a little, well, stuffy being the mayor, but this has turned out to be a wonderful visit. Really? B -b -b I just thought you wanted to relax. <laughs> Nonsense! I love adventures with you, and this was so adventurous. But, but... Did we get photos to show everyone? We sure did. Oh, yeah! Fabulous! How about one more of me with my favorite nephew? Huh? Cousin Nathan is here? No. You silly. 
I can't wait to get these printed. I bet everyone in town got lots of great photos. I can't wait to see them all. These are great! <laughs> cool! <laughs> nice shot! Zowie Zow! <laughs> Look at this one! Oh, I must have hit the camera button accidentally when Moby tipped the boat! What a fabulous action shot! You have to enter that one in the contest! And second prize goes to GoFred for that incredible action shot. And Fudge gets third prize for his funny photo. Congratulations, you guys! Oh, I hope I win first prize for my unique fashion photos. And the first place winning photograph is... is my own photograph of a soup can. Yay, me! Now, wait a minute. The judge's decision is final. Oh, really? As Auntie of the Mayor, I declare Gofret's photograph first place winner. Fudge is second, and Ellie third for her fabulous Mrs. Hippo with red lips. <laughs> Zowie! <laughs>